morning. Well, good morning. We're yeah. starting it together today. I realize, have I been starting it the past couple days? I think I've done it as well. And then when I go and edit, then I realize one of us has done it and I'll just cut. <laughs> Who did it sooner? <laughs> <laughs> was it me that won both times? Yeah. And then yesterday, I know I did it, but I, don't, I haven't edited. So I don't know who, I don't know who won out mm. yesterday. Um, gotcha. Anyway, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Yeah. 6? No. Yes. <gasps> wow. Time's flying. It is flying. Um, Gigi is watching Magic School Bus Rides Again, which is making me so happy. The new version so of happy. Magic School Bus. Uh, side note, the new song I was just going to say. Slaps. So good. Well, it's the same song, but it's right. sung by Lin-Manuel Miranda instead of It's not just a little different flair. Uh, both good. But there's no wrong answer there. They are both good. But I, yeah, I, I'm digging the new one too. It was already good. Didn't know they could possibly make it any better. And, and they did. Is it, it's Kate McKinnon, who's the voice of Miss Frizzle now. And I'm like, perfect choice there. But in the first episode, if I remember right, Lily Tomlin, who did the original Miss Frizzle, like came in and like passed the baton. I'm like, I loved that they had. Well, and they're like, it's like that's her aunt or they're, they're related or like sister that. or something yeah. like that. So, uh, yeah. I'm, it was a smart way to do it. Yeah. But it makes me very happy. Um, yeah. It makes me really happy too. Um, off topic, but I don't want to forget. I'm going to make the tiny Tylers a little bit bigger. I've gotten a lot of points. I'm so sorry. I'm looking at it. You know, I'll make our thumbnails, and they're pretty big on my screen. So my tiny Tyler I'm looking at is like this big. But, of course, I mean, I know it shrinks down and it's smaller. But I'm like, I think I've made them too hard too soon. But, you know, it's... So I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. He is wearing yeah. a hat. So if you've never found him before, it's Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. look uh, for that. That might be helpful. What's funny, though, is I feel like... Some people are like, it's too easy. And we talked about, like, when we first were doing it, we're like, we'll make the first few easy and then we'll make them harder as we go. Turns out I went Turns hard out. the whole way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that hopefully you will have successfully found Tiny Tyler yesterday, which yeah. is the thumbnail I'll be making today and then yeah. from here on out. But maybe we'll get harder again. As I mean, it's still going to be hard, okay? Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Still going to be hard, but just a little bit bigger. Yeah. That's all. Um, so... I think we're going to go to the gym here this morning, which is going to be awesome. We talked about, are you still planning on going? Yeah. Um, I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I might be going to the gym this morning. I might um, still. We'll see. And then I was going to go to a coffee shop today and work for a little bit just for funsies. And then to nice. try and write some scripts for the yurt videos. Um, and it does sound like you say yurt. I know. That's what I said yesterday. I never know. It noticed. does. I'm like, is it because I... Yurt. Is it like it's, an Indiana thing? Is I think. Just, I, what it's is a it? you Indiana. <laughs> no, I think it's... You say it. Europe. No, see, you don't how, say it like that. See, now that I don't know. It's like anything like, where you... Europe. I have to say it like... Say it. Europe. No, no. no like, like regular. Europe. So I'm working... I'm I'm, your, I'm, <laughs> I'm working on the Europe videos. I'm working on the Europe videos. I'm, I'm working on the Europe videos today. But I just say it really fast. That one fast. sounds a little bit better. I don't know. Line. <laughs> we'll just keep practicing, you guys. That's what I said yesterday. And yesterday, I'm like, I'm going to work on the Europe videos. Europe. But it definitely does sound like Europe. Yeah, I know. But I never notice it until... Well, I don't know. Just forget it. Just forget it. Never saying it again. I guess I'll just say Tyler's nothing ever. Tyler's going to the gym, possibly <laughs> with Jessica. I'm filming a car chat today. I have not done a coffee chat in a few months. I don't think. Maybe I have, but I don't think I have. Um, and I've done one in the car, and I, I absolutely enjoyed it so much. Yeah. So I'm going to film that again. Fun. Just for funsies. We're going to go to a park, and we'll chat. So I'm excited to do that video. Really excited. So I could go to the gym with you, come back, get dressed and stuff, then go do it. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. It's probably better if I just force myself to go. My legs are tired from my run, so it'd be just beefing yeah. up these arms, you know? I, uh, abs. I've been doing the 300 workout. I've done it maybe six or seven times so far. And if you don't know that movie 300 that came out a million years ago now, um, they have like, they, it was like the about Sparta and I never actually saw it, but all the guys were like ripped and stuff like, and they had a 300 workout that they came up with. I don't know if the actors did it for the movie or whatever, but it was called the 300 workout. And I remember reading about it years ago and I was like, all right, I'm kind of tired of what I've been doing. So I'm like, I'm going to do that. It kicks my butt so hard. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And so like every time I've done it, I've been sore for like three or four days after, but it's great. Cause I feel like I was kind of at the point where I was doing the same stuff over and over again and yeah. I wasn't getting sore. Um, but anyway, so that's what I've been doing. But you definitely have to build in that recovery time. So it's yeah. kind of a six of one. Yeah. Well, maybe it's better because then you don't have to work out. 
Yeah. Well, and the, yeah, and then on. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But it, I've been enjoying doing it. But it is. And you're able to do it at the gym. Like you mm -hmm. just follow what but they it's, do. But it's do also it a bunch of stuff that I don't normally do. So mm -hmm. it's. I think it's just working out different muscles and stuff. So I'm. I'm gonna do that today. Muscle confusion. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and then this afternoon more garage talk. Garage in the garage. All right. I did Anything the exact same thing two days ago in the vlog. I caught myself go in the garage. I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> but it's the fact um, that we do the same things over and over again. <laughs> yeah. We are <laughs> nuts. Okay. <laughs> I remember I went on a tour one time and the guy was talking about the Renaissance. And I'm like, oh, I love it. I love that. And I remember the same guy talking about the garage. Oh, I love that. The garage yeah. in the the I mean, Renaissance. I'm like, okay, well, I will never, I will never say what Renaissance is the other one? again. Aluminium. No, no. Aluminium. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Brits are the best. <laughs> well, you guys got an ending talk at the beginning of this Whoa! One too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I let's, mean, wow. let's go on with our day. What a day. <laughs> okay, I've decided on the way to work, I'm going to go to the hardware store to go ahead and get the paint for the garage and a few other things I need uh, to get that done. And then I'm going to head to work here and edit Vlogmas once I get there, but then I'll have all the materials I need. Pinocchio. This camera really makes your nose look longer. <laughs> You're having your morning snoozle. So this is my favorite snooze of the day. Mm, you got full belly from breakfast earlier. Say yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just reheated some of the leftovers. I realized how that I didn't vlog um, earlier. We did go to the gym. I'm sure he's talked about it at this point, which was really a nice way to start the day. That was awesome. So I am getting a little bit of work done because then I'm gonna go film my coffee chat in the car. And I actually have a few errands to run anyway, so I'm kind of, it's gonna be a double whammy, but I am making a video live, so I'm trying to make some links and a thumbnail for that. I need to make Vlogmas thumbnail um, and answer a few emails. So I'm gonna try to knock that out in like 45 minutes if I can, which is kind of a stretch. Um, I also, I was <laughs> working on, it's a pack with me vlog. So I love fonts and every once in a while I will get lost on font websites, like fun ones to use for thumbnails. So I picked a different font and I, I really, really like it. So I might use that from here on out for a while. We'll see. I'll probably change my mind, but that ended up taking up some time because <laughs> I just love fonts and I could look at those all day long. Okay. Anyway, so back to work. Okay. That took way longer than I expected. <laughs> took like two hours. Um, one of the things, just a little known secret, with YouTube videos, the thing that takes longer than anything is like the SEO on the back end. Um, it. <laughs> so finally done with that, heading out. Um, was gonna get a coffee, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna bring some coffee from home, I think, because we still had some in our pot and it keeps it hot forever. So I'm gonna bring that film, but I also wanna go to the store and get a couple of Christmas decoration things I've been meaning to get, but we just hadn't found yet. I think I'll have a little bit of time to at least look. We'll see. Okay, coffee chat is, or car chat, whatever you wanna call it, is filmed just in the nick of time because the battery on my little um, vlogging camera, my other one, I guess, is nearly dead. I'm like, whew. So I have a little bit of time. I might try to go to a store. This is how, this is interesting. Without my phone, I am used to depending on it always for directions even when i know where i'm going i plug it in anyway i have it up on the map like we had a big discussion with our friends recently about that exact thing of like do you plug in your phone even when you're going to exactly where you know where you're going do you just plug it in anyway most of us were a yes um so i'm trying to think if i'm like well where do i want to go to look for christmas decor i'm like i think i want to go to like michael's hobby lobby like one of those but i'm like do i know how to get there i'm pretty sure i do only one way to find out. <laughs> Christmas decor is 50% off before the holidays. Uh, this is perfect. I just love the garlands. Up. Look how cute these are. <laughs> Giant popcorn, fake popcorn balls that just made me giggle. They have got they have some interesting ones. Look at this. These are huge. And these make me think of my childhood and I can't explain it. These two. I know my brother will know what I mean. I think my mom might still have something like this. They're so cute. These little cookie jars. Maybe they were more like this. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. So really looking for some gold and silver ornaments to kind of catch the light on that new tree. Because um, we were gonna go with the color and we're like, we kind of just want it to be gold or silver because we can do um, 
the white lights on that tree or the multicolor. So we figure if we go with the color ornaments, it's a lot. And we already have our like fun tree with all of our personal ornaments in the front room. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. But I kind of just want to find like a multi-pack, you know what I mean? Well, jackpot, question mark, maybe? Uh, okay, this is perfect right there. I love these colors here. I found that multi-pack right there. It's not too silvery, not too gold. It's kind of like a champagne. And look at that topper there. Isn't that gorgeous? We got cute stockings, but I love looking at tree skirts. I don't know what it is about them. They're just, I always want new ones. Look at this one. Looks like a scarf. It's so pretty. Little candy cane one. <laughs> That's cute too. They have some really cute Christmassy mugs, but these are all humongous. Like way too big. I don't know why they don't make these smaller, you know. Some Star Wars ones. That's cute. Look at those pups. All right, I've got some ornament holders. Everything is 50% off, so I'm getting these plates for a Christmas gathering we're having later this week. These little Christmas twist tie bows. I thought we could put on some of the food things we have out. I could not pass up <laughs> this little spoon rest. Why is it so cute? I just love it. All right, time for good news, bad news. This is just going to be my thing from now on every day. <laughs> good news, we have some good news and we have some bad news. I feel like that's most people's work days. Anyway, I did not get a chance to work on the garage at all today because I ended up having a bunch of agency stuff to do today. Um, if you don't know, I own a travel agency and they are the world's greatest travel agents. They are absolutely the most amazing. If you are traveling anywhere, please contact us because I can guarantee they're the most amazing travel agents that have ever existed. And that's not hyperbolic. They, that's just truth. Anyway, so I had a bunch of agency stuff to do. I had a meeting this afternoon and then I ended up working on the Europe, Europe videos for a little bit. And that pretty much took up the rest of the afternoon and then editing vlogmas from yesterday. So I have to go home a little bit early today because I am making one of our all-time favorite dinners. I don't remember if I've made it. I had to have made it in a vlog at some point. Um, the 1770 House by Ina Garten. It's, I think a 1770 House is a restaurant, but Ina Garten adopted the recipe and then we make it. Oh my gosh, it is the most amazing stuff. It is so good. Anyway, um, the I have to stop by <laughs> the grocery store and pick up some harissa since I never found it the other day. So I got to pick that up on the way home and then I have to get home a little bit early because it takes hour and a half, two hours to make. So I want to get it done a little bit earlier. So didn't have quite time to work on the garage. I did buy the paint earlier though. So I know I told you I stopped. I didn't end up buying that. Um, so that'll be good to go. So when I get the chance, I can actually start rocking and rolling on that. Anyway, that's what's going on with me. Here's what's going on in your neck of the woods. <sighs> another swing and another miss on the Harissa. <laughs> it must be a shortage or something. I don't know. Um, they had the, uh, the brand, and they had some other stuff from that same Mina brand, which is normally the Harissa we get, and they were out here too. And I even asked, and I downloaded the app, because <laughs> I, I, a lot of people were like, download the app, it'll tell you where it is in the store. Sure enough, it said they were out. So I have one more grocery store I can try and hit up, and if not, then I might just have to figure out something else. I'm sure I can figure out something. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Success! Well, good evening, good evening, and may I just say... Welcome to the cutting board. This is very, very exciting. The first cutting board that I'm doing, Blue Nana did one the other day, but the first one I'm doing of 2023, very exciting. Now that said, I'm starting dinner way later than I had planned, so I was hoping to really delve into this recipe. Not gonna have the time today. Um, so we are gonna be doing this montage style so I can try and do this much faster. I will have the recipe on my website. It is in my absolute favorite cookbook. This is my, my favorite recipe in my favorite cookbook. Cook Like a Pro by Ina Garden. So if you want the full recipe, it's on there. It'll be on my website as well. Um, anyway, montage style, let's make dinner.
I again. literally have dinner all over my shirt. <laughs> And I lost a nail. <laughs> oh man, it's been what a, rough, a night. It's been a rough evening. It's been we've <laughs> it's been great, but whew, dinner it, took two hours to make. Yeah, that was unexpected. Yeah. It's hard to film like what you were doing while cooking. Yeah, well, and yeah, it's it just is what it is. But it yeah. just yeah, I started later than I had planned because I on the way home stopped to get gas. Had to go to multiple grocery stores to find Harissa. <laughs> I feel like we used to be able to find Harissa any time of day, anywhere you yeah. want. Because you used to make those Harissa eggs, which you should make now that we have oh, Harissa. I should make those again. Remember those? Those were an Alton Brown recipe. Those were really good. Those are, and I'm not big into like, although Harissa is not spicy not at all. Not super spicy, you know. I wouldn't consider it really spicy at all. Well, they have mild and they have spicy. I use, I bought the spicy and that's what was in, spicy, yeah, no. tonight's and it, yeah, it's not, yeah. It, it only calls for like four tablespoons though and a pretty big yeah. thing. Uh, yeah, but you know how some things are so spicy that the second they enter, it could be the tiniest bit. It is just <laughs> the, the whole thing's thing, yeah. explosion of spice. Yeah. And I'm a baby about it, so. But uh, yeah, um, tonight's dinner, though, was really, really good. Yeah. So normally, mm -hmm. we do chicken. Mm -hmm. Every time we've ever done this, but... The original recipe, by the way, calls for lamb. Yeah. But, but we're we just do... not big on lamb. I don't know. Yeah, it's never been a I've thing for us. Yeah, like once in... I don't even know that I've ever eaten it. Yeah, and so we always replaced it with chicken. And so this time we we're like, well, let's try like like beef stew meat. Um, Which and... I think we've done before. But it would have been... We? I don't know. I, I don't think I might think be thinking of another recipe, maybe. Um, but it was good. I cut down the cook time a lot because I was trying to speed things up. So mm -hmm. I like when I put the meat in a pan, kind of overcrowded it and like was trying to sear too much at a time. Um... You, you okay? So sleepy. <laughs> I cut out um, a lot of the simmer time, and especially with like things like beef stew meat, it has to braise for a long time to make yeah. it tender. Um, so I, think I still it, thought it was really good. It would still could. be a good option, but I think if you would, if I had given it more time, it would have been. So really, better. if you're not into lamb, I would say do chicken. Yeah, the chicken breast has always been good. Yeah. So, but the the flavor of that is so so tasty. Yeah. Mm. There's so many things in it it's sweet it's spicy it's savory it's just it's just so it really much. does have it all oh, it's so those good. are the kinds of dishes i don't typically like like these heavy like beef yeah. stews oh, yeah, I, yeah. I like depending but it's not something like i would go out of my way to make myself yeah but this is one of the few that it is so good yeah and i never would have guessed it'd be as good as it is anyway uh, see i love stews and chilies and you do and we are very different in that way yeah so a couple things i wanted to bring up yeah tyler actually wrote keywords i was like i, I don't know that i have anything to say and he, you've got two couple words. quick things. One, so many people brought up when we were on our way home from the Santa thing. They were like, "Oh, Gigi's not in the car seat. Is everyone okay? Gigi's not in the car seat." We just didn't bring it up. My mom came home with us after, and we drove separately to the place, and then she to the just Santa breakfast. Yeah, yeah, she had a car seat in her car, and she's Gigi like, wanted to ride with Nana. Yeah, so, so that's all. That's all that was. But so many people were like, "Guys, you have." Well, it was funny too because on the way to the Santa breakfast, this was. Was it yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. For us. So the day. The, well, okay. Either way. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. There was a pink coat that looked like a kid was in it, but like it was cl very clearly empty in the center. So on the way there, we had like a ghost kid. And then on the way home, we were missing a kid. So it was just kind of funny. A lot of, lot of stuff going lots, on back Lots there. going on in the back seat. Uh, <laughs> second thing I had written down, so many people keep commenting on the fact that they were like, Oh, when Tyler said it's for me, so the grocery grocery haul, like day one, maybe day one, maybe day two. The we time did, you took hours at the store? Or? No, 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 no. Okay. Target. And we did a little like mini grocery haul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said, and we got some diaper cream, and I said, oh, that's for me, making the joke. No one got that joke. Everyone was like, oh, I thought Tyler was making a joke, and then I realized she was talking about something else. I was like, no, I was making a diaper cream joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to have... I wanted everyone to know the diaper cream joke was... That's that my was, joke. That was That's my joke. That's my joke. Uh, and then, oh, the other thing. So a lot of people, if you haven't watched my Townhouse Tales videos, people asked about the broken TV. Like, what actually happened with I that? I did respond to a comment. You did? Okay, good. That, yeah, they cut us a check and the, they basically asked for, like, I had to send a few pictures in and then they asked for, like, some number, you know, whatever code on the yeah. back. And I think they looked it up and they could see the year it was made. And so they basically did their, yeah, basically assessed the value. And I mean, it it was fine. I would agree with what the current value probably was. Yeah. So 
Yeah, and they were no qualms about it. They just were like, okay, no big deal, and they cut us a check. Yeah, yeah. so that was nice. Yeah, so that is that was the nice thing, and we basically got the exact same TV. In the uh, end, at Costco, Which is yeah. like a year newer, because it wasn't all and that old. And it used that money straight towards it and just paid yeah. a little bit more. And Yeah. So, you know, it worked out. It was not as big of a deal as I think I thought it would be. Yeah. Which was nice. Um, What's yeah. interesting is the uh, one of our neighbors had a mover, and same thing, exact same thing happened. They broke the TV when they were uh, moving stuff, and they basically had the same experience. So I don't well, know who their movers were, but... Be kind of protocol i mean it has to happen a decent amount with obviously with stuff but especially tvs that you're moving yeah. and they're big and i mean anything punctures that in any yeah. way it's gonna you know and there was a few other things they broke but it was nothing really worth nothing that was worth stuff but one lamps. thing well we talked about some meaningful stuff but i don't know you and i kind of do you remember the, the cake, the cake? Plate, yeah. yeah but it was kind of one of those things that it's like i mean they can't replace it. That's, I mean, they can't replace it. What are they going to do? Give us $10 for it? Like, it just, I don't know. Yeah. So we didn't end up bringing that one up if anyone had questions about that. But yeah. But anyway, so those are the <laughs> things I brought up today in my, as I was thinking about, I was reading through hmm. comments and stuff. And oh, that's, that's smart. I, yeah, to kind of comb through. Yeah. I, um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, I didn't get out the uh, stuff I got at the craft store. I want to show you. I mean, you guys oh, will see yeah. it. Maybe tomorrow we'll actually put the stuff on the tree, but I got ornaments. Nice. That are kind of like a... I didn't want to go too silver or too gold. Silver and gold. <laughs> um, so I went right in the middle. It's like a champagne. Oh. And it's, but it's it's pretty. I think you're going to like it. And nice. I think because the lights can be white and because the lights can be multicolor and we do kind of toggle back and forth depending yeah. on our mood, we're going to have breath. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think it'll reflect it all really nicely. Yeah. So we'll see how it looks. I also bought a matching star for the top. Oh, nice. Here's my question for you guys. <laughs> how in the heck do you attach a tree topper? Because I don't know how something better is not, but most of them just have that spiral. How do you attach? They always fall over. Because everyone's like, just fold over one branch and stick it on. I'm like, what are you talking about? Done They're it. so heavy. They just, yeah. Done it. We tried it all. Work. I'm like, do you wrap a branch through the, the tongs? Like, what do people do? I guess we should just Google it. Maybe our trees are weak. We have weak trees. <laughs> right? Um, so, yeah, we've, like, kind of avoided, like, we we don't have a topper on this one. The one upstairs are, like, um, oh, someone had a cute name for a memory tree. That's what ours in the front room is with all of oh, our ornaments. Yeah. They called it a memory tree. I'm like... Ow! Yeesh! Oh. You okay? Yeah. It was the fatty part of my fingers, you know, the, the under. It would have been harder if it was the, the pads. Knuckles. The pads, that's, yeah. Gigi asked me today what this was called. It's like, your palm. Like, it's crazy how many different parts of the body we have. And you have to learn all of the names. You know, crow's feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, just tree topper. So I got a new one. We'll see if we can figure out how to actually attach it. Yeah. But I think it'll all look pretty. And then I got a couple other cutesy things um, for the our get-together we're having. Um, and just, yeah. This is a good, good little haul. But, yeah. All right. We got to go put leftovers away. We got to set coffee. <sighs> all the nightly chores. I know. Just... But you know what? It's only 920. We can be in bed by 10. Don't say, every time you say that, it is two hours later that somehow we're like, why are we just now going to bed? It's midnight. Usually we're in bed and we just like are like looking at our Kindles or something like that. Like, well, I mean, we're reading. If I'm not. Bed. Well, I can't. I can't just turn over and fall asleep. I can almost always. Like right now, I can turn over and go to sleep. Well, actually, I shouldn't say I can't. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like my nightly ritual, I read, and then when I'm like literally, literally nodding off, I turn it off and then yeah. turn over and fall asleep. Unless we're traveling, in which case I'm so tired. I, that is My a turnover general and fall state asleep. is a turnover and fall asleep. Fall asleep. <laughs> fall, fall, asleep. fall asleep state. I'm pretty Gosh. sure any time of day, 1 p.m., turnover and fall asleep. I, <laughs> I think I could at 1 p.m. turn it. Mine's more like a 2.30, 3 type thing. Yeah, I get the 3 o'clock sleepies. That's always when I do my espresso or uh, Celsius or something. <laughs> I you were going to say that's when you do your turnover. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's any time of day. Oh, my gosh. That's 24-7. All right. Oh, I'm else? getting excited to get in bed. All right. Well, we're going to go to bed. It's been real. You should probably go to bed, too. Do you care, love them? I don't care what time it is, wherever you are. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. It's like, 3 p.m. Mr. Ron, I'm so tired. I'm getting there. Okay, bye.